Hey guys and welcome back to the Quadrus Legacy channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create multi-polygons in the Shapely library. Shapely is a library in Python that's used for geometric and, well, you know, creating polygons, multi-polygons. Then it has a bunch of functions that are, uh, you know, used to perform operations on those polygons, like changing the orientation, so on and so on. And it also works pretty well with stuff like matplotlib, which I'll even show you in today's video because Shapely can create the polygons, as you can see here. These are single polygons, and matplotlib is actually used to plot these. So let's get started. Okay, so there are multiple ways we can create multi-polygons in Shapely. Okay, there's not just one way of doing it. So let's get started. I'll create a multi-polygon over here. Let's call it multi, and then we'll use the multi-polygon class. Now, what we can do here is pass in a list of polygons of single polygons, okay, norm normal polygons. And this is it. We just created a multi-polygon. Now I'm gonna plot this using my plot lib just to show you what it looks like, okay? For uh, poly in multi. Okay, now, by the way, you'll see code a, a lot like this if you go online and look, but don't do this, it's deprecated. You can still do it, it'll still work as of the time of this video but it's going to raise a warning. Do this dot geom. Okay. Short for geometries, I guess. So yeah, this is the new and recommended approach. Okay. So I'm going to use this function of mine, which is not related to the tutorial. So I kept it in a different file. It's used to, you know, it's a custom function that's going to plot our shapely polygon. I'll leave a link to my website where you can, you can get this code if you want to. Otherwise, I'm just using this for de demonstration purposes. Okay. All right. So I'll run this now. And there we go. Here are here's our multi polygon. Okay. And it's a multi polygon because these two are individual polygons, but they're not connected to each other. They're they're disjoint. Okay. And just to show you what you can do over here, you can actually print out, because a multi-polygon in Shapely is actually just a collection of polygons. It's not actually some kind of, you know, it's not really a separate object, really. It's just a collection, as you can see here, because we're literally iterating over it. And as you can see here, I just printed out both polygons in here. Okay, now one more thing, uh, another way of creating multi-polygons, if for some reason you don't want to create the polygons individually first, what you can do is just uh, take this, let's just comment that out, okay? Take this, this array, and let me just space those out a bit, okay? Copy paste it here, okay? And this should be, uh, all right, hold on. Okay, we need to pass in the interiors as well, yeah? This is actually gonna be a uh, three-dimensional, and this is actually getting a bit ugly, but it can't be helped really. Like that, one over there, and yeah, that looks about right. Okay, okay, and then we'll do the same for this one. All right, just to explain this, this is a single polygon that I've created in here. This is uh the exterior. Okay, now if you don't already know this concept, basically the exterior of a polygon is basically the circumference, and this is the interior. You can use this to basically define, you know, uh, a hole inside the polygon, you know, like a donut. So the donut is basically, uh, it has outside circumference and the inner circumference. So the interior is basically that inner circumference. Okay, so this is uh that the second array but i'm just leaving it blank because i don't want any interiors if i run this code it should actually run no okay that's weird not entirely sure why that's not happening but you know what i'm just gonna separate these out a bit because this is getting really hard to read honestly okay i'm gonna do that poly one and we'll call this the exterior, okay? Poly one interior, which you can just leave as an empty array. Poly two exterior, okay? This will make sure I'm not screwing up anywhere. 
just gonna put that over there and then poly two interior we'll leave that as that okay now i'm just gonna remove that seriously okay there and there now we're here poly one exterior poly one interior okay that's one done that's our first polygon second polygon poly two interior there all right now if i run this hopefully i left a plus in there where oh okay it's not showing that is bit oh wait of course i'm dumb okay so i need to just put that back there and now this is gonna plot okay great so that's the second method of creating polygons you can just put that directly in there as well but that looks kind of ugly i just recommend this approach honestly but that may be a little more inefficient because we're creating a separate object over here maybe okay i mean i'm not sure how it's internally handled but yeah there's also one more circumstance under which this can happen uh multi polygons they can be created accidentally if you're, if you're doing the union between two polygons this can actually happen if you're doing the union between two polygons that are intersecting with each other then it'll return a single polygon but if you do the union between two polygons that are not intersecting then it's gonna return a multi polygon okay and you can actually check that uh hold on let's bring that back here i'm gonna do print multi dot type okay so you can always also check to see that this is actually a multi polygon okay cool so yeah if you want to watch my video on union between polygons i'll leave a link to that in the description below hope you guys enjoyed this video